What's up you guys? Welcome back to the Crafty Kitchen. I have another cooking video for you today. I know it's been a while, I'm sorry, but this is something that I've been wanting to film for you and I told you guys the next time I make it, I would film it. We're gonna make a broccoli salad today. This is something that Jason and I really enjoy. I'm going to make a low carb version of this broccoli salad. Even if you're not eating low carb, you can still make this, it's so delicious. I will say I am not one that likes cooked broccoli that much. I'll eat it. It's a great low carb option for a side, but I'm just not big on cooked broccoli. But with this raw broccoli salad, I absolutely love it. As always, I am going to link the recipe I'm using down in the description so you guys can go click on that and print it out for yourselves. I'm also going to list the ingredients you are gonna need for the recipe on the screen right now so you know what you're going to need. I have everything laid out that I need, but now I need to get it all measured out and ready to go. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how easy and quick this recipe is to make. I have all of our ingredients measured out and ready to go. The first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna make our low carb salad dressing for the broccoli salad. But first I wanna give you a couple tips that I use that help me. The recipe calls for two heads of broccoli, just the tops only, which I have done that. I bought broccoli heads and cut them down. But what I find easiest is I just buy the pre-packaged broccoli florets that are already cut up for you. I buy two packages of these. And then what I do is I just go through and I trim off the stems, any big stems, and kind of cut them more down into bite-sized pieces. So I find that really convenient and a lot quicker for me. As you saw, I did cook my bacon in the microwave. I just crisped up the eight pieces of bacon and I cut that up and everything else is measured. So let's get to making our low carb salad dressing. Now, like I said, you can make this even if you're not eating low carb. The only difference is I'm using this Swerve sweetener, y'all have seen this before. I use it in any recipe that calls for a sugar. This is a low carb sugar substitute. That's what we like and I use. You can use regular sugar if you don't wanna do low carb. Either way, works great. This dressing is super easy to make. You only need three ingredients. You need your mayonnaise, apple cider vinegar, and of course your sugar, or in our case, Swerve. I pick up these Duke mayonnaises because you need one cup of mayonnaise and this package is exactly one cup. Just another convenience. Yes, you're paying more for the convenience, but hey, I like convenient. So I'm going to squeeze this whole package into my bowl here. Again, this is one cup of mayonnaise. You can use whatever kind of mayonnaise you'd like. You could also use a uh, avocado mayonnaise. We have used that in the past, which is really good. I had just picked this up the last time we went shopping at HEB because I was like, man, that's pretty cool. It's already pre-measured for you, ready to go. So we're just gonna get this all squeezed out. Next, we're gonna add our two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and then our three tablespoons of Swerve. And we are gonna whisk this all together until we get a smooth and creamy consistency. Gotta be careful not to make a mess. I have done that before. I'm very prone to making messes when I'm cooking. Jason can probably attest to that. <laughs> but you just wanna make sure, whisk it around, get it good and mixed in. You want that, sh that sugar or swerve and apple cider all good and mixed in with your mayonnaise and it's gonna turn into this creamy dressing consistency. Now that we have our dressing all nice and mixed together, the last thing we have to do is just add everything to our broccoli. So we're gonna add our half a cup of sunflower seeds. We've got a cup of onion. The recipe calls for red onion. I didn't have any red onion, so I'm just using a white onion. We have a cup of shredded cheese. I'm using sharp cheddar. And then lastly, our eight pieces of crumbled bacon. 
Now you can use bacon bits on this, but it's so much better with actual bacon that you cook and crumble yourself. Doesn't that already look amazing? <laughs> that just looks so appetizing. Okay, the last thing we need to add is our dressing. So we're just gonna pour that on top, get it all in there. I love this dressing too, it's so good. You can't even tell it's low carb. That's why I love this swerve. For me, I know some people, it have they have an aftertaste with it. I don't find that. I really like it. I found more of an aftertaste with like the monk fruit sweeteners. Now we've got everything in there. We're just gonna mix this all together. Get it nice and blended. Now you can pretty much add anything you want to this. Oh gosh, you? yeah, you can totally, I mean, put anything you want. You could add some bell peppers. I mean, you could even tomato. add tomato, ham, cucumber. I mean, this is just a really simple an easy broccoli salad, but yeah, I mean, you could to you could even do this with cauliflower. Get creative, right? Make a cauliflower salad like this. Yeah. You know, do the dressing the same, but instead of broccoli, use cauliflower. See, that's funny with me. I'm not big on cooked broccoli, but I like raw broccoli. And cauliflower, I like to cook cauliflower and not so much raw cauliflower. <laughs> so, anybody else like that? I don't know. I'm just maybe weird. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. And it smells delicious too. You know, also, if you can't eat sunflowers or you don't like sunflowers, you could omit those. I know some people put raisins in their broccoli salad. I don't do that because they're not low carb. But, I mean, gosh, yeah, sky's the limit on this. Make it your own, you know? So now that we have it all mixed up, the last thing to do is pop it in the fridge and let it chill. You want to let this chill for at least one hour or more. That just lets that um, dressing soak in there and get it nice and yummy for you. But that's it guys what are we having with that tonight tonight jason's gonna cook us up some more of those wagyu steaks we have so yeah. but i love this because we can have this for a couple meals for the both of us it's low carb it's yummy it's good for you yeah and super easy yeah broccoli is like a super food it is yeah and it's so easy i mean anybody could make this you don't need a big kitchen in your truck to make this yeah. so and you get plenty of leftovers right exactly tons of leftovers we'll yeah. be eating on that for a couple of days oh yeah absolutely i already took some pork chops out to make tomorrow night and have this with it too so yeah, yeah. that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this recipe again i will link the exact recipe i used down in the description if you make this come back and let me know how you liked it thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing until our next video peace love and expediting mm, broccoli